Welcome to our link G4X training part five. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at working with our data logging. Now data logging is going to be when we wanna capture the live data out of our G4X box and save it to a file that we can play back at a later point in time. Data logging is gonna be an essential part of your calibration process, also for data review. So we're gonna need data logging for doing our tuning. We're also gonna be needing data logging if we send our race car down the racetrack. Let's say we are going in doing quarter mile racing and we're making a drag pass. We wanna be able to review what happened during that pass to be able to see if we need to make adjustments or tweaks in the actual calibration file, or if we need to be alarmed that there might be an actual problem. We might have dropped oil pressure, uh, or coolant pressure might have been too high. We might have went lean. There's all kinds of things we can see with our data logging, and we need to spend a lot of time getting familiar with that. We're gonna take a look at how to do proper data logs, both the onboard data logging and the laptop data logging. We're gonna have two different kinds of logging that we can work with. We're gonna cover everything in this video. So without further wait, let's jump in so we can check everything out. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna be taking a look at working with our data logging in our Link G4X engine management systems using our PC Link software. Now, before we go into anything else in the video, let's get out of the way first what data logging is and why we wanna use it. So if we're taking a look at our screen right now, we're in our basics page layout here. We can see at the very uh, top of the screen, we have this selected. In this page, we can find that we have all of our digital gauges here streaming live information. If we take a look right here in the upper right hand portion of the screen, we can see we're in the online state and we can see that the PC log equals off. We're not doing any data logging right now. So we're just taking a look at this live information. So as I'm talking right now, we can see that all of this channel information here is moving around a little bit. If I'm taking a look at something like my throttle position, if I go and I start to move my, uh, my throttle, go in and change the, uh, the gas, my, my input to the gas pedal here, we can see that that throttle position is moving around. So, as I just talked right there, a couple seconds went past. I wanted to go back and take a look at what changes the throttle position was showing as I was talking. I wouldn't be able to do that. I've lost that ability to go back and capture that information. In a data log, we can record all of the channels we want to take a look at into a file format, and then we can use that and play it back at any point in time. So the live data is useful for taking a look at this information here, just trying to evaluate a channel or several channels but we can't look at this at a later portion of time. We actually have to capture that data, and that's what data log is gonna allow us to do. We can capture up to hundreds of channels within our Link G4X system, whether we're gonna be working with the two different types of data logging. We have a PC style logging and an onboard logging. We'll cover that here in a little bit. I wanted to make it very clear what data logging is, again, before we kind of jump in and take a look at the uh, nuts and bolts of the data logging, how to make it work, how to save data logs, and working with the various types of data logging. It's very important to understand that data logging is going to be an essential part of the calibration process because let's just say we want to go and drive for five or 10 minutes and we want to come back and look at the information that we've captured to be able to tune our fuel table. Unless we capture it into a saved file, we wouldn't be able to evaluate anything that just happened in that driving log. So we could watch all the live data, but that's not very useful if we wanted to go and work with it and try to evaluate the performance of the engine over several minutes or even doing a dyno pool, doing a wide open throttle pool. There'd be no way to be able to take a look at all the key information at one time, be able to memorize exactly what happened to the fuel, into the spark, into the boost, or whatever the case may be. You would have to capture that information to a log file and being able to play it back. So now that you should understand what data logging is going to be, let's move into a different page here so we can evaluate this a little bit further. If we jump in here to our fuel page, we're not gonna cover anything with fuel tuning right now, but I wanna go and illustrate the different layouts that we have available here within our page they're gonna be used for data logging specifically. So within our fuel page, we're gonna find we have our fuel table. We have a target air fuel table, we have an injection timing table. Again, we're not gonna get into any of this. I wanted to just point these out on the screen here. In the middle here, this is our runtime values list. This is gonna be live streamed information. This is the exact same idea here. We jump back into the basic page, taking a look here in basics, taking a look at our live data here in our digital gauges. Essentially, it's the exact same data it's just in a different format here in uh, our runtime value. So we can have a whole bunch of channels here nice and neatly put into our window. I didn't use digital gauges in this window just for space constraints. I wanted to fit a lot of things on our screen here uh, to be able to make, make most use of our fuel page layout. But our live information here is streamed in our runtime values. Now, down below we have a time plot and we have a parameters list. These two are used when we're working with data logging. So in the time plot, this is gonna be a graphical plot of the information that we're capturing in that data log. We can see here we have different lanes of data within our time plot. We have engine speed, manifold gauge pressure. We have lambda one, target air fuel. 
we have our closed loop fuel correction and our differential fuel pressure. This all would be plotted within our time plot here. We can also see that our parameters list here, we have a whole bunch of channels that look just like our run times value list, except the parameters list is gonna be tied into our data logging. We're gonna find that we would have our channel here that's displayed. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here, and you don't wanna miss any of the videos are gonna be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.